Okay, so in the last tutorial, we established that at the moment, our outliner is looking very messy. Uh, we've actually got an empty group here, which we don't need at all, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Uh, we've also got all these pieces of geometry, which uh, there is no reason for them to be all out here at the moment, so I'm just going to shift select all of those and hit control G to make a group, and I'm just going to rename that group Geo for geometry. Okay, great, that's already looking much neater. And you'll notice that our curves are still all here and they still all have their basic names. So we're going to have to go and fix that up. Uh, but first of all, we're going to look at mirroring these joints here. Now, the KK controllers is great for this. So what we can do is actually select our group one, copy in the x-axis, and that actually just copies everything over, including all its subordinates here. So we've got the group, we've got the curve, our control curve, which is still lined up correctly. And so we're going to go along and do that for our other elbow, our mirror in x. Uh, we'll do that again for our foot here, mirror in x, and also for the hand, mirror in x. And just make sure that you've got the copy box ticked or else without the copy box ticked, it will just mirror it over and won't actually keep the original. So that's all our control curves made. Now what we'll need to go through is just name them all. So this is going to be hip CTRL, and we have our CTRL, and I'm just going to go through and name the rest of these in the same sort of manner and come back to you so that you don't have to watch me do every single one of them. Okay, great, so they're all renamed. Uh, what I've gone through is just in things like shoulder, head, and just putting CTRL at the end of each of them so that I know that that's the control object. Uh, and for these groups, I just have right shoulder CTRL and right shoulder CTRL group. As you'll notice, What's happened here is because I've used this mirror function to duplicate these over, I've lost this nice rotation axis that I had from the group setup. So what I'm going to have to do here is actually delete out these groups and copy them over myself. So I'm just going to hit up key to select the group, control D to duplicate, and hold down V and middle mouse to snap it over to the other joint, and we're going to do the same down here. So hitting up to get to our group, control D, V and middle mouse. Okay, great, so there, they're all set up now. I just need to go through and rename each of these. So I'll take out the one and pull that right here, right, take out the one, okay great, so we've got all those done and now we've got most of our controllers set up but we just want a couple more for functionality so we're going to go ahead just find some more interesting curves. I think I like that one. Now this is going to be our clavicle controller. I'm going to hold down V and middle mouse drag till we get over here and just position that nicely. Okay, great. And I'm going to mirror that to the other side. And also, I want to have a little bit of extra control over the hip and the shoulders. So I'm going to create another one of these, scale it up, and again here I'll create another, scale it up. I might actually reposition that a bit myself. Okay, great, and I'm just going to go into my side view by pressing spacebar, 
and hitting the insert key will bring up uh, my effect pivot and I'm just going to drag that over so that it comes back to where we need it to be at the shoulder. Okay, so uh, hit insert again to get out of that tool and spacebar back to perspective mode and you'll notice that we have all these controls set up and I'm just going to add in one last control, I'll just get rid of that glitch and that's going to be some knee controls which I'm going to create it's these. So, go to my move tool and snap to the knee and pull that out to the front. I'm going to name that left knee PV for pole vector underscore CTRL. I'm going to mirror that to the other side and just name that right. And here I'm going to go through and name this one hip sway CTRL and chest control, which is what you would generally be calling it uh, on a humanoid rig. Uh, and you'll probably see a lot of chest movement from it anyway. Uh, and I'm going to, I think I'll rename that to torso, which makes a little more sense. So we've got torso and chest. Okay, great. So we've got all these controls set up. And at the moment, they're a little bit on the confusing side of what controls are where. So what we're going to do quickly now is if we select all these controls that are lined up to the center of the rig and we will just scrub along here. This will change the colors and you'll notice what color uh, it changes to. I like the yellow. Uh, that's just what I generally use for um, the inside controllers. So I'll unselect those and you'll see that they're now all a nice bright yellow color which is far easier to see. I'm now going to go along and select all the left hand side and I'm going to come along and make them all red. Uh, now I'm just going to use some nautical conventions here and I'm going to color the right side green. Once I get it back, there we are. Okay, and if we turn off our joints we can see this is what the animator will be working with which is quite good. We, will, we can see what each of the parts are, we can see what they control and so we're actually going to look at linking everything together in the next tutorial.